Hi guys and welcome in my Lightroom tutorial. My name is Marcin and today I'm gonna show you how to create vintage uh, retro look in uh, Adobe Lightroom 4. I think it's very simple tutorial but but you need to follow a few specific steps to create this. In the past I make tutorial about how to create vintage effect but it was in Photoshop. So now it's time to show you how to create uh, vintage retro look image in Adobe Lightroom. Of course we started with develop module after importing the image and I started with basic panel. At first of course always is color balance and here you can add whatever you want really. So because it's not so important I put temp on the yellow side about um, plus 25 uh, to add some warm and also I add some tint uh, to the magenta side maybe the same even and then we need to go to exposure and um, you doesn't need to add exposure but I think I add some not too much uh, but about maybe plus uh, 0.36 is okay and we need to take all the contrast from the image so click on it and drag it to the left at minus 100 and as you see we lost all the contrast from the image also we need to take the shadows because it doesn't look uh, nice on the vintage uh, effect so I put the shadows maybe even about 60 you can add even more uh, also I take some white but not too much about minus 20 and the same I take some blacks about plus 50 So okay, and now go to presence and take some vibrance uh, from the image, I think maybe about minus 30. And okay, now the first part is over. As you see, we take almost all the contrast from the image. So okay, we finished with basic panel and now it's time to tone curve panel. Uh, in tone curve panel, you have here in the first part shadows, darks, lights and highlights and I need to take uh, take down some highlights from the image so I click right here on the curve and put it down a little maybe maybe like this and then click right here to edit the point curve and uh, change the channel to green at first and do something like me at first put down on the right and here on the highlights uh, put some on the left then change a uh, channel to blue and now add some blue just right here and then here and then drag it down to the yellow side maybe something like this so now we finished with tone curve panel and it's time to split tuning panel it's it's nice effect for um, this type of um, editing at first we started with highlights and add some soft yellowish uh, orangey color and for shadows add soft blue color something like this and I think it looks really nice right now so we finish with split toning and now it is time for detail and uh, some other effects. 
You can add some sharpen to the image, but it's uh, not necessary. Not too much, uh, just some. Uh, but as I said, it's not necessary. And then uh, the last effects. Uh, I mean, it's nice to add uh, to retro look, to vintage effects, some vignette. So, add some amount to this image. Select your midpoint. And of course the feather. And okay. I think it's all. So take a look um, how it looks uh, before the editing. And now after editing it looks like this. So as you see, it's a huge difference. I think this effect looks perfect. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name is Marcin and see you in the next tutorial.